And now, WJCL News, working for you. Several Beaufort County teachers are being tested for Ebola. This after visiting West Africa and all amidst the worst Ebola outbreak in world history. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Holmes and I'm Jennifer Andrews. Well, this comes just days before students head back to school. Low Country Bureau Chief Larry Spruill talked to school officials and parents tonight. Larry, what are they saying? Well, Kevin and Jennifer, school officials say there are no employees showing signs of Ebola while parents are upset. They didn't know until now. We have had no reports of any school district employee experiencing any sorts of symptoms uh, related to Ebola. It's the worst outbreak of the Ebola virus in world history, and now word is out that several Beaufort County teachers were in West Africa when the outbreak began. Now, the school system told me the teachers are not showing symptoms, but as a precaution, they are still being tested. Thursday, I stopped by the district office to ask how many teachers were in West Africa and why. Federal privacy laws won't allow me to reveal information that might compromise an individual's privacy, so I can't do that. The Center of Disease Control is working with customs to screen people for fever, severe headache, muscle pain, vomiting, diarrhea, or unexplained bleeding all signs of Ebola. We're confident that they've been cleared by those screenings and, and we shouldn't have any problems. But as a parent, yes, it does raise concern. Takia Smith has two kids in the school system. She says she knows the district will do the right thing for their students, but it does bother her to find out about it last minute. We tend to be the ones that seem like we hear about it last when we feel like we should be the first. You were thinking that, hey, you know, is this going to affect my children? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, you know, I think something that's common. Douglas Marshall, also a parent, thinks the same thing. You're thinking, oh, well, could this potentially down the road affect us, affect my family? But Foster says, like always, they are putting the safety of the students first. We just want to assure our parents that safety is our number one priority here. We look out for kids. We love working with kids. That's why we do what we do. And we would never endanger a child. The school district did call parents tonight, letting them know about the situation. Foster says they posted this letter on their website. Now it says no teachers showing symptoms of Ebola will be allowed in school. They did not tell us if the teachers that went to West Africa this summer will be in school Monday morning. But for now, reporting in the studio, Larry Sproul, WJCL News, working for you.